All right, ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to be looking at the Galaxy Note 9 versus the Galaxy S10 Plus. Um, as you know, if you've seen any of the videos from my channel, I stay with the used phones. I haven't brought, or excuse me, bought a new phone since I got the iPhone uh, 7 Plus back in 2016. Sprint had it half off. But ever since then, I've gotten used phones. And I think, number one, they're just a great deal. Um, you save a lot of money in depreciation. And then number two, you already know somewhat how the phone is going to age and if it has any major issues. Like back in the day, the Note 7 had a battery that exploded or the uh, Pixel 2 had an OLED that wasn't very great. So when you get a used phone, those things are kind of out of the way. And I really like that. And I'll just start with saying that really, I'll just get to the point. Uh, these these phones are too close to call. So basically, they both have 6.4 inch displays. The philosophy is a little bit different with them. This one has the hole punch right here, um, which you can kind of barely see. I mean, they they make a good effort of hiding it. And this one does have the notch here. But really, like if you told me if I had the S10 Plus for you know a couple weeks or a month, and I had to go back to the Note or vice versa, I wouldn't be hurting at all. The performance is very similar. Down the road, obviously, the S10 Plus with two more gigs of RAM, uh, a better processor is probably going to do a little bit better. This one has a 4,000 milliamp hour battery. This is 4,100. They both, you know, will do very well in that department. And they're both excellent phones. So that being said, I wouldn't upgrade if I had the Note 9 to the Galaxy S10 unless you were trying to future-proof which even then, you're wasting money if you're living by that used phone philosophy. All right, so the first thing we need to look at in the video is the difference between the notch and the hole punch. And honestly, guys, I really don't think either one are a big deal. When you're watching video on landscape mode, as I'm about to show you in these video clips, there really isn't much intrusion into the media experience at all. As you can see in this promo clip of the Note 9, the notch is not very noticeable and the screen really looks pretty much edge to edge. The same with the Galaxy S10 Plus. If you flip the phone actually the other way and the notch is on the bottom right corner, it would look even less noticeable. So on the Galaxy S10 Plus, I will say it's about the same screen real estate. Um, the reason why I say about the same, even though they have the same screen size, is because if you'll notice... With this screen, it cuts off, a lot of times in Chrome at least, it cuts off at that hole punch notch. Whereas this screen goes up a little higher. So if I put these two pictures together and they're lined up, you'll notice that Rita on the um, right side is a little bit taller. Her picture is a little bit bigger. And then you'll also notice that this picture, the coloring is a little bit more dynamic. So... On these two phones, uh, the color, I, I prefer the color on the Note 9. So that is a difference. The color on the Note 9, it, it, it's a little bit more vibrant, and then it's a little bit cooler, meaning that the whites are whiter on that phone. Even when I manually set both of these phones to the coolest option for screen temperature, the, white, uh, the whites are a bit whiter on the Note 9. So I will say that, but... The Galaxy S10 Plus has a brighter display, so when I'm outside, uh, you know, looking at the display, this one gets at like 60% and I can see the screen very well if I'm sitting in my car in broad daylight. This one has to go, you know, past that to like 80% really to kind of get the same brightness in my opinion or get the same amount of uh, visibility in the screen. This phone is lighter and it does have a smaller footprint, so... When you hold these phones, you can definitely tell the weight difference. And then on the side of this phone, it feels like this is like a steel bar on the sides of this phone. And this one just feels like, you know, a piece of light metal. So another departure from the Note 9 is the fingerprint reader not being on the back. So that is just kind of a personal preference. Like under the, under the screen, one is not as fast as the one on the back of the Samsung Note 9. Um, so, but really none of them are frustrating. None of them are provide a poor experience. You know, once you get used to one versus the other, it's not a big deal. Um, not worth upgrading for that. They both have eight, you know, a three and a half millimeter headphone jack. The cameras are a similar setup on the back. This one does have an additional camera, an ultra wide camera. But other than that, the camera's performances are the same. So that's not really doing anything unless you use a lot of wide angle 
uh, or take a lot of wide angle pictures. And then flipping back over, I will say the selfie camera is better on the Galaxy S10 Plus. It's a little bit better, but unless you're like a selfie king or queen, you're really not going to notice a huge difference. And I was comparing these two side by side, like immediately one after the other. If you don't do that, you really wouldn't even know the difference. The speaker on the Galaxy S10 is a little bit louder, a little bit richer. You wouldn't be able to know unless you heard them back to back or side to side. Like if you give it like 10 seconds between the two, you can't even tell the difference. Um... And lastly, I'll just say the Galaxy S10 has a smaller footprint. So it is a little bit thinner. It's not as heavy. Um, and you can definitely tell that in your pocket. The pocket presence is not as great as the Note 9. But again, it's not such a huge difference that you're like, oh my gosh, it's a different world. I can sit down with my skinny jeans. It's still going to be a problem. Um, so you want to make sure they have elastain or something like that in them. Um, but other than that, guys, that's about it. These phones are both excellent. As you know, Samsung makes very good top tier Android phones and these will be a great pickup either way. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for watching. I need to make one final point and that is to not buy the Note 10, at least the base model. And I'll make this brief. So the base model of the Note 10 does not have a headphone jack. It has a 6.3 inch display versus a 6.4 inch on the S10 Plus. Uh, it has a 3500 milliamp hour battery versus 4100 milliamp hours. And then it has the same amount of RAM. So I feel like the S10 Plus is a better successor if you're coming from a Note 9 or another Note series. Just because you get that premium resolution. Um, you also get a good sized battery. And then you get the functionality of the headphone jack, which is still important to me. I know for a lot of people it's not. Um, now that phone, the Note 10, does come with 256 gigs of storage. So that may be a thing for you. But the RAM is the same. Uh, the Snapdragon processor is going to be the same. So I really favor the S10+. Plus.